Good day and welcome to another episode of Piano TV. So I'm super excited about today's episode because we are going to do something that isn't done very often on the internet and or method books and that's bring a little Canada into the limelight. So we're going to learn a piece today called Land of the Silver Birch which is a Canadian folk song that is pretty awesome and it's the first song that we're going to learn that's in a minor key. So we'll talk more about that what that means and we'll do some other things like figure out what a rhythmic motif is and etc. So let's get started. Okay, so backstory time. As I mentioned, The Land of the Silver Birch is a Canadian folk song, and it has its origins with the First Nations people of Canada. And the tempo of it is pretty moderate. It like actually syncs up really well with like a like a paddling a canoe motion. And the lyrics are all about the Canadian countryside. So I'm just gonna read you a little excerpt. So Land of the Silver Birch, home of the beaver, where still the mighty moose wanders at will. Is that not awesome? I'll leave you a link to the full lyrics below as well as a recording or a, a YouTube video of a sung version of it so you can hear it in its not purely instrumental only version. This piece has what you would call a rhythmic motif, which I'll spell on the screen here. A motif is basically just a recurring pattern. So in music, that pattern might be like a melodic pattern, it might be a rhythmic pattern or a harmonic pattern. So with this song, what we have is a repeating rhythmic pattern, so a rhythmic motif, in the left hand, which we'll take a look at the sheet music to see what that pattern is. So take a look at this left hand pattern here. You got half note, quarter, quarter, half note, quarter, quarter, and that pattern continues throughout the entire piece. So this is our rhythmic motif. So some fancy lingo for you. So throughout the entire piece, the left hand's gonna be maintaining this one, two, three, four. <laughs> I say four, I write three. Whoa, it's all fixed now. So now that you have that pattern in mind, I'm gonna play the piece for you and then we'll talk more details afterwards. So let's talk about the basic things first. At the very beginning here, it says andante, which is Italian for walking speed. So if you think that's a vague description, just take a moment to stroll around your living room or wherever you happen to be and listen to the sound of your footsteps and you'll very, very quickly realize what walking speed is. And my hint to you is that it's not very fast because then they'd call it running speed. Ha ha ha. Over towards the end of the piece, you have this thing where it says one, and then you have this thing over here that says two. Now, these are these are different endings. So this one, this whole section, these three bars, this is the first ending, and you'll notice that the repeat dots lead you very all the way back to the top. So then on your second time through, you go back to the top, you play, play, play all the way through, and then when you get to where it says ending one, you don't do that. You jump straight to ending number two. One last note is that over here at the end, it says eight VB. So this means to play one octave lower or below what's written. So here's an A and an E. Instead of playing it in, in that spot that that indicates, you'd actually play it an octave lower. Now, sometimes this is indicated where it says eight VA, and it's written below, and if it says 8VA and it's written above, you would play higher, an octave higher, but since it's written below, you play lower. So those are just different ways that it might be written. So here it's 8VB, but you might also see something like that too. I kind of think that 8VB makes more sense because it's saying an octave below, and this is saying an octave above. 
So that's why I used it. Especially because this is a vocal piece, what I would suggest is to learn the melody all by itself first and try to make it full of expression, like a voice might sing it. You don't want to play like a robot for you know, this song or pretty much ever. So pay attention to the phrasing because this is the punctuation of the piece. It's where the where the phrases break is where you, you would take a breath. So I'm trying to, to think of a way to describe this, but I think I'll just uh, play a little bit. So the first few notes are just some A's and E's. So I just made them all equal the same kind of volume level. But since that might be like um, Land of the Silver Birch or the lyrics for that part, um, instead of Land of the Silver, <laughs> making them all kind of equivalent, I'm going to try to add a little bit of movement and expression into that. I don't know if you can like see my, my swoopy hand for the movement. around with it where you want the high parts and the low parts to be but but do your best to avoid the kind of robotic same volume every note type of playing the very last thing i want to mention with this piece is the overall sound of it so you might have noticed it's a little bit different from some of the pieces we've worked on so far so like i mentioned at the very beginning of the video it's actually in a minor key which has like a darker more somber sound and to get really specific it's in the key of a natural minor but don't worry if you don't know what that means because in the next two videos we're going to talk about minor keys and a minor and stuff like that so to, to fill in all the gaps, which I'm very excited about. And if you remember the previous video on major and minor chords, which I'll link to on the screen somewhere over in that direction, you'll remember that major chords have kind of like a happy sound to them and minor chords have kind of like that, that dark sound to them. And keys are the same way or scales. So like a C major scale would sound happy, whereas a C minor scale would sound sad just to be super general. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy this little bit, tidbit into Canadian music. And as always, enjoy the practice and the piano and have lots of fun. See you later. You are such an annoying little punk.